Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL Server 8.0.42 on Kali Linux 2025.2. Okay, by default we will get the MariaDB, not the MySQL Server. Okay, open terminal, sudo systemctl status MariaDB. Provide the password of sudo user, hit enter. See here, we have the MariaDB 11.8. If you want to use the MariaDB Server, you can use by just starting instead of replay, instead of status just give the start then you can connect to MariaDB and, and you can use but in this video I want to uninstall and install MySQL Server 8.0.42 okay so first uninstall this one sudo apt remove hyphen hyphen fudge MariaDB start hit enter type and hit enter select test to remove all MariaDB databases and hit enter now verify same sudo system CTL status MariaDB. See, you don't have MariaDB server. Okay, also run sudo apt auto remove. Type and hit enter. Control A. Now open the default web browser that comes with Kali Linux that is Firefox. Now go to mysql.com. Then click on downloads. Then scroll down, click on MySQL community downloads, then click on MySQL community server. Then select the version. See here we have the 8.0.42. If you are unable to find the version here, click on archives. There you will find older versions. Then select the operating system Ubuntu Linux. See once we selected Ubuntu Linux, see it populated the list of the Debian packages. So I am going to select the latest version of the Ubuntu. Then see here it populated the list of the Debian packages that needs to be downloaded and installed. But instead of downloading each package, just to download this dev bundle. Click on download, then click on no thanks, just start my download. See, download started and its size is 488 megabytes. Wait until download completes. Once download completes, then we will extract the star file and we will install. This will take time. In the meantime, please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. See, download is completed. Now go to terminal, CD, downloads, ls. See, here we have the MySQL server 8.0.42 tar file. We have to untar it tar hyphen except give mysql give the tab to autofill enter tar file name hit enter ls see here we have the list of the debian packages that needs to be installed before installing we have to install following dependencies sudo apt install macapp hyphen ipadic hyphen utf8 lib aao hyphen dev i will give this command in the video description hit enter Type for confirmation and hit enter. We have successfully installed. Now we install MySQL Server 8.0.42. sudo dpkg i start dev. It will install all .debian packages from the current folder. So hit enter. See it is installing MySQL Server 8.0.42. Now set the password for root account. Confirm the same. Select OK. Now select the authentication plugins. First one is the recommended, second one is the legacy method. So it is up to you. Select any one of them and press tab and come to OK and hit enter. We have successfully installed MySQL Server 8.0.4 to control it. Now verify the status of the MySQL Server sudo systemctl status mysql. Hit enter. See, MySQL server is installed, but it is not started. So, start it sudo systemctl start mysql. Hit enter. Now, verify the status. See, MySQL server is active and running, uh, and, but still it is disabled. So, enable it, QTP it. But I have to enable it. Now, verify the status. See, MySQL service is active and running, and it is enabled. QTP it, control it. Now, connect to MySQL server mysql hyphen u root hyphen p then provide the password that we have set for the this root account see we have successfully connected to mysql server 8.0.42 verify the version by running the command select version see we got the same okay now it the list of the databases so databases see these are the default databases that comes with mysql installation now create database create database Verify. 
see in your database bank is created now switch to this database and create a table so switch to database we have to run the command use and name of the database now if i list out tables show tables see you don't have any tables let us create table See, we have table customer. Let us insert some data into this table. Insert one more. Now we the data. See, we have inserted these rows. Now create user to create but before that verify the list of the users show users this won't work you can get the list of the users by running the command select user from mysql dot user see these are the default users that comes with mysql installation let us create user create user See whatever is there in singular double quotes, it is the password. Now verify again. See in user David is created. Now exit from the MySQL server which is connected by using root account. Then connect with this new user. Exit MySQL hyphen u. New username is David hyphen p. See whatever is there in singular double quotes, it is the password. So provide the password. Hit enter. Now verify the currently logged in user. Select current underscore user. See we have logged in MySQL server with the user David. Now try to access the database that we have created. See access generate for user David to database bank because we have created user but cannot granted any privileges. That's why we have received this error. Exit. Now you'll see how to stop, start and restart MySQL server on Kali Linux 2025.2. Sudo systemctl stop MySQL hit enter. Verify the status sudo systemctl status MySQL. See MySQL server is started 5 seconds ago. See it is inactive or dead q to kit. Also try to connect to MySQL server. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. Hit enter. Provide the password of root account. See we are unable to connect because MySQL server is stopped. So start it again. sudo systemctl start MySQL. Verify the status. See MySQL server is active and running. q to kit. Also try to connect to MySQL server. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. Provide the password of root account. See, we have successfully connected exit. Now we'll see how to restart sudo systemctl restart mysql. With the status, see mysql server is restarted three seconds ago. Okay, until now we have connected mysql server by using mysql client. You can also connect mysql server by using the most popular tools like mysql logbench or db. Or you can search for my YouTube channel how to down how to install mysql logbench on Linux operating systems. Also for the db work. Okay, unless these files are not required anymore because we have successfully installed MySQL Server 8.0.4 on Kali Linux RM start dot dev to delete all Debian packages. Unless we have one more file, remove it. RM MySQL give the tab to have to fill enter tar file name hit enter. Unless we have cleared the space. Okay, so in this video we have seen how to uninstall the MariaDB server and install configure MySQL Server 8.0.4 on Kali Linux 2025.2. Okay, for more tutorials please subscribe my channel. Thank you.